Hello everybody, uh, I just wanted to show you this. This is the Turtle Boat 4 and I ordered it yesterday and it arrived this morning, it's like 11 a.m. and I am super excited about it. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing video to show you what it's like to order this kind of robot. And, um, and let's do it. So I'm going to open it. Okay, so this is once you open the box. Um, so we get some wires. I'm not sure why exactly so far. We have this, which I never got the point of this. And we have something from uh, the company in France that distributes these uh, robots. So let's see what's inside. So Okay, so when you look at it, this is the inside of the robot, of the, of the box. And here is the robot. Along with some accessories, we have this thing, which is a charging station, probably, and some cable, and that's it. So, here it is. This is the Total Boat 4, and you can notice um, you can notice how we have a Nog D light camera here. So I already have a Nog D, and I have a Nog D S2, and this is the light version. I can probably switch it with my S2. I'm not sure exactly how much I can access the sensors. So here we have this. Okay, here we have the ability to access the Raspberry. There is a Raspberry Pi 4 inside. So we have access to it and we can close it. And we also have an RP LiDAR A1, which I also already have. So probably my best way, if I wanted to really save money, would have been to order an iRobot Create Free. Because this is iRobot, you know, the company that creates the Roomba iRobot, um, they, they also sell this Create Free platform, and then you can add your sensors. Or you can buy the TotalBot 4 Lite, which is this version with this sensor. Or there is also the TotalBot 4 normal version, which also has some uh, additional uh, mounting system and all of that, and an OD Pro. So it was too much delay for me. It was like a month to wait for that version. So I went with this one, but I think it's great already. So I'm not sure what to do now. Uh, I can probably press something okay no so we'll probably need to charge it and we'll see what happens next okay this is plugged in and it starts to spin and now it's going to recharge so there was something bothering me is that they gave me a u.s sector and i'm in europe so uh, what they gave me is like i'm gonna need to use this uh, adaptator thing but other than this um, so it starts to spin um, you can see a really cool view of it you can see how it's spinning how it's like it's actually pretty cool it's actually pretty cool so once i'm here um, what i did was to connect to turtleboat 4 and now i am over this menu so what about it um, what I can say is that once I have done this TurtleBot 4 setup, and before that, that was just some uh, login to the Wi-Fi. And now, um, change your Wi-Fi mode to client when connecting to an existing network. Basically, I need to follow this. So this says, go to Wi-Fi setup and change to client. Okay, I can do that. That's probably something I can do. Uh, Wi-Fi setup and uh, change to client. Okay thing that is really incredible and i was like Pff. okay um what happens is that when you are on this command which is which is ssh uh, you can launch some bluetooth command and then if you write scan on you're going to scan some devices now usually you do that because the um, turtleboard 4 normal version has a controller meaning you can use it. But in my case, I, did, I took the light version and it turns out that I already have a PS4 
and that I have this, and that I can use the same command, meaning this button pressed with the share button here. And just like that, I was able to find this wireless controller's MAC address here. Okay, so this is the MAC address of the wireless controller. And then I could, so I, I just spent some time here because I wanted to make sure it was this one. So at some point, um, I was able to refine my wireless controller after I uh, disconnected it and I was sure it was the one. And so I, I would trust the MAC address. Then um, I said pair and then connect. And now I can drive the robot using this. So there's a lot going on um, here. If I want to show you some other elements, for example, so this is my email that I'm going to send you, but here, this is the, the platform for the iRobot, okay? So there is the iRobot, but there is also this um, Raspberry Pi. So we need to consider that they are both platforms and that they need to stay connected together, okay? So um, I don't think I have anything more to show you, um, at least not here. So we can directly jump to seeing how the robot drives with this controller. So that is after a few minutes when we are able to just drive the robot autonomously. I mean, it's not autonomous, it's with the controller. Um, but see how we can drive the robot and there's the camera, there's everything ready. Uh, there are some ultrasonic sensors. If I spin it, you can probably see that there are some sensors around here. And this means that if I try to bump into, for example, this table, um, it's going to go back and do some stuff like that. So I can still run into it, but um, somehow it stops. It, it learns it and it can stop. Now, the LiDAR here is not connected. I can do it, just making some noise, but here it is. And now I could even, I guess, um, try some slam things, right? I could uh, just launch a ROS node and it's going to build a map. And, and just like that, I could do it. So I will show it in some future videos probably. Um, so far, uh, you can see how we have this robot. And the cool thing also, is that you can really personalize it for your own application. Meaning that these holes, we know the size of these holes and we can, we know the, the model, the 3D model of the robot. We could 3D print some stuff such as, you know, um, some armatures or some, uh, it can be so many things that we can do around that. And then you can basically have that as a platform, but then have a totally different application when you use it. So that's it for this quick overview of what happens when you first uh, buy the robot. So I will leave you with that and, um, and I'll tell you in more videos like how we can um, program it, code some nodes, um, install it, all of that.